Welcome back to the channel everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a preview for a game called Morpho. Uh, Morpho is a social deduction game designed by Jeffrey CCH and published by Ice Makers Games. I want to thank Ice Makers Games for sending me this uh, copy for preview. This game is going to be hitting Kickstarter in September. Uh, it is a social deduction game for three to nine players that's going to play uh, about 20 minutes or more. L let me show you quickly how to play but the because and it hasn't hit on Kickstarter yet. The rules are subject to change, so I'm going to be doing a really quick overview of what you can expect for this game to see if this is a game that you would like to back on Kickstarter. So let me show you how to play real quick, and then we'll get back to uh, seeing who this game is for. Okay, so this is how a, a game of uh, Team Morpho is going to be set up. This is just a four-player game at the moment. Uh, up to six players, everyone's going to get two cards each. From seven to nine, they're only going to get one card each. The goal of this game is to get 10 victory points. The first person at 10 victory points wins the game. So you have these victory points here. White is one, black is five. This is just a first player marker. We're just gonna ignore that for this demonstration. So I have these flipped over. Uh, the start of the game, everyone's gonna have two cards. Uh, so for example here, I have the leader card and the technician. If you look on the card at the top right, that's gonna show what they need to win the round. So you want to make sure all the killers are eliminated. Those are going to be the red cards. I'll show you that in a bit. And on the bottom, you're going to have the abilities that they have. And then over here, these three squares right here are going to show how many victory points you're going to w get if you win this round. Now, I have two blue cards, which means that I am not in conflict. If I had a red card, I will be in conflict. Now, when you're in conflict, you cannot use your abilities and you cannot win the round if when the round ends. So if you're if Team Blue wins and you have a Team Blue card, but you also have a red killer card, you cannot win this round. So on your turn, you have three actions that you can do. One is investigate. When you investigate, you can investigate the players to your left and to your right, but you cannot investigate the card that's closest to you, only the one that's furthest. So for example, I'm gonna flip this card over. This person is a bodyguard. I keep this secret. But just for example's sake, let's say this card was here and they have a killer card. So you know that this person has a killer card. You keep this secret to yourself, but just for, for example's sake, they are also in conflict. So they will not be able to use any of their abilities and they cannot win this round. But you don't know that because you only know that they have this red card. You don't know if they have their if they're in conflict at all. Another thing I want to show here is the abilities that the killer has. One is snipe, the other is block. Snipe is, you know, uh, eliminating a card from the game. When a card is eliminated, uh, they're going to, so you have these gray indicator cards right here. They're going to be later. They're going to show which cards are available this and in this game. So when a card is eliminated, you would, so if it's just, let's just say this bodyguard card was eliminated. You would put it there to show that the card was eliminated from the game. Uh, another ability that they have here is block. Actually, I'm sorry. Before I even go into this other ability, I want to show um, how the killer wins the game. So they want to make sure the leader is eliminated. So this card right here, they want to try and find who this person is and have it eliminated. That's the only way that they can win. Now, there's other cards in the game that... I'll show you here. So this is an alien card. It's a cyborg. Now cyborgs, if they are cyborgs or aliens, if they are with any other cards like a blue or red or orange, I'll show you the orange cards later, they are not in conflict. So you can have these two cards. As you can see here, they get a bunch of victory points when they win. Their job is to eliminate the technician. So the technician is this one right here. Uh, the leader wants to find who the technician is so when they so they, if i didn't have this card they have if they suspect somebody else of the technician and they get it right by the end of the next round the blue team blue morpho team will win the game so an, the second action that you can take i didn't get into that yet is you can change ids so let's just say that this is flipped over he's not liking that uh he, he's on he's conflicted since he's conflicted he's gonna switch the job with the first card at the top of the deck 
So he's a mercenary. Now the purple cards, he's actually in conflict again. These purple cards will always be in conflict with all the other cards, as you can see here. Goals to assassinate, but it says here it won't conflict with another. But that's another. That's just a special ability. Normally, poor purple cards are in conflict with others. Okay. So the third thing you can do is activate your the abilities right here. So you have these cards, reference cards here. They're gonna they tell you pretty much what every single ability does. So bodyguards, if any ID of the neighboring players are targeted by snipe. You must reveal bodyguard to stop it, then eliminate the ID who was sniping. So that's a pretty pretty powerful card. That's the bodyguard card right here. Excuse me. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. So that's a bodyguard card. That's one of the abilities that they can do. And they can also intercept. So you see here, intercept is if any IDs of the neighboring players escape, you must reveal a leader bodyguard to stop them. Eliminate the escaping IDs. Now, when they say escape, it's these cards right here. If you have two of these deserter cards, you can use the escape ability. And you will get three victory points for, for winning that round. So, sometimes people end up with two deserter cards in the beginning. They can e easily win the round, but, of course, bodyguard can always stop them. Uh, so, that's all the abilities that you can do. Uh, like I said before, you have these special purple cards and these green cards right here. If you see a lock ability at the top, that just means it's a more advanced card. You don't always have to play with it. Again, the book says that you can um, set up in different ways. So like I was showing before, it says here, the ID card set up an expert on a six-player game. So let's just say it was a six-player game. There will be one leader, one technician, one bodyguard, two killers, Five deserters and one unknown. So you can switch. You can put whatever one you want. Uh, game plays pretty fast. Between 20 and 30 minutes. First person to 10 points wins the game. As you can see, it's got a little similarity to Coup. But I'm going to explain more of that in the, uh, over, in the final overview of the game. So as you can see, this game has a lot of similarities to Coup. Uh, if you are a fan of social deduction and especially a game like Coup, I think you're going to like this game a lot. The only the big difference with Coup is uh, Coup plays a lot faster than this. This game will run you about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how, much, uh, how many people you're playing with. I will say that it is best with 6. I will not go over 6 players. I feel with 7 to 9, I don't like that you could have only one card. It makes it a lot more interesting when each player has 2 cards and that's really... A, feel how this game should be played uh, again social deduction games are not for everyone but if you are like I said stated before if you are a fan of cool and you're a fan of social deduction games I don't think you want to miss out on this I think you should check it out I'm going to be posting a link in the in uh, the description uh, that's going to be bring, bring you to the Kickstarter uh, page again it's gonna be coming in or around September so if you're really interested in this game uh, check it out and back it uh, Again, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions about this game, feel free to leave a comment. Keep on playing, and I'll see you guys next time.